Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power, I aim to change that. Hello viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another, um, how shall I say this, Skyrim video. If you can read the icon that I put up, the Helm of Winterhold is the quest I will be sending my character on, and it screws up another quest. The other quest is for the Helm of Yingol, found in Yingol's Barrow. Now, unfortunately, if the Helm of Winterhold spawns in Yingol's Barrow, well, you're not going to get the Helm of Yingol, which is actually kind of a really neat helm. If you do like role-playing and dressing your character up in different ways, the Helm of Yingol is pretty cool. It also gives you a percentage of frost resistance. But I digress. You wind up screwing yourself once you get the claw from a certain woman. Um, her name is Brynin in the, or Brynna, Brynna in the uh, inn in Winterhold. And then you go talk to the Jarl and, well, you screw yourself. Let's get on with this mission. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Heft? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Hmm. After talking to Brynna at the inn, if you go over to the Jarl's house and talk to Jarl Hansis, you will get the story of Winterhold. Ours is the only family left. What's your business here in Winterhold? Hmm. Should have known. Not that it matters anymore. No one bothers coming to Winterhold for any other reason. Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power, I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the First Era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds, and give me some authority. Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. I do. And if you count yourself among their numbers, then you've blood on your hands as well. There's nothing left of Winterhold. Nothing. Everyone knows it's the college's fault that the sea swallowed our city. Still, they deny it. But we all know the truth.
some interesting conversation there. If you go and select on your quest tree, find Helm of Winterhold, you then exit, and if you look on your map, the helm will be located in the area of, well, in this case, Yingle Barrel, and you've just been screwed out of a really neat quest item. The coral claw given to you by, or sold to you by Birna is worthless. Now, the best way is to fast travel to Windhelm Stables. Otherwise, you got a really long walk. And from Windhelm Stables, if you've not found the Yingle Barrel already, well, it's going to be a long walk, so I'm going to fast forward. you enter Yingal Barrel, you'll notice lights, little fuzzy, kind of wisp-like lights following you around, and they get really excited as you get closer to the end. And those lights are like wisps, but they're harmless. There's no wisp mother to harm you, and you can run through it pretty much until you reach this dead guy and his notes on Yingal Barrel. And if you read his notes, um, right here, the Code of Malakath. Oh, wait, wrong book. Sorry about that. Uh, Yingal Barrel and, eh, crap, wrong book. Uh, notes of Yingal Barrel. It will tell you about the sky and the sea, man on his throne, etc. What you need to do is you go sit on this throne, and you remove the skull first, and then you go sit on this throne. And you will notice there's snake and some other mobile pillars. You'll hear maybe some running water. What you need to go over to is, in order to properly open the gate, this is the sky, so you set it to the falcon, this is the brush, so you set it to the snake. And then over here, you have running water. So you set it to the whale, and then you pull this lever, and it opens. Now, you notice these wisp things are getting really excited. Now, you can explore the barrow and look at urns and take care of other things. I'm going to move forward a little bit and get to the next area which I need to talk about. You get to this iron door and the wisps get really excited. Now you're getting toward the end. You open up the iron door, you come down here, and there is an iron gate which you open up. Now you want to take a look around, grab some hanging moss. That's always good for alchemy. Um, there's some burial urns around here. You want to check those out. Check around here. There's another iron door. You open that up. There is this iron gate. You got to pick the lock. And yeah, lock picking sucks. That's why I always have above 50 in lock picks, if not just 50. A hundred, whatever. It takes forever sometimes for these locks to be picked. You'll need magic. I got this one open. Now there is some hanging moss, a chest, and not really good items, some gold. Almost not worth picking the lock in a sense. But hey, you end up stuck with doing that. Now you can move on. Now, the wisps will get excited, and they'll try and urge you to do things. They'll even interfere. Like here, you want to pick up all the snowberries and stuff. Good for alchemy. And 
Forget the iron sword. Yep, it's pushing you around. It wants you to go. It's harmless. The iron sword you don't need unless it's enchanted. Now you move on to the next area. And you got a gate trap. And then there is a chest which usually... Okay, not too bad. Elven arrows, not bad. This is a very quick quest. Now you've got the coral skull, you'll, or the coral claw, which you need from Berna anyway. You won't be able to complete the Helm of Winterhold without the coral claw. So if you buy it from Berna, you can at least, you know, complete the Helm of Winterhold quest. You really want the Helm of Yingle. Now, to be honest with you, if you're smart, once you get the Coral Claw, you go to Yingle Barrel, get the Helm of Yingle, then you can do the Helm of Winter Hole later on. It might spawn in a different place entirely. But look at these things get excited. Now, you get, I'm switching to weapons, and once this opens, you're going to face a bad guy. You want to back away from this guy and draw him out to the open. Get away from his shout because it's annoying. It can actually disarm you. And this is a Draugr Death Lord. You want to fight him. And he's difficult. Accepting the Helm of Winterhold glitches this area twice. You want to take the, from the Draugr Overlord. The helmet he is wearing is the one that you should have, the Helm of Yingold. Or it should be on the throne here. Otherwise, just in the chest is the Helm of Winterhold. And you can't get out of here using the button to open that gate. You have to walk your way back out of the uh, barrel front. Now I will show you at the end of this the kind of area where you can get into the back area. You hit this button, it will not work. There's no way to make it work, so you can't exit the barrel. You have to go out the front. Once you get out of the barrel, there is a back entrance that you got to look for. I spent a little time looking around for it. I'm just going to cut to where the entrance is and hopefully point it out on a map. If you stick to the coastline and you walk around, you will notice a kind of, how shall I say, pond area, or not really a pond area. You'll see the corker there, but you, again, you stick to the coastline here, and you notice this little inlet, and where the horker is here, you cross over into the water, and then right here is the back entrance to Yingold Barrel. And you can't get into the barrel from here, because you need to activate the um, button, but you come down these stairs, and you can see there is Yingold's barrel. You can't exit. Oh, yeah, 17 gold. Yippee skippy. Not really worth all the effort, but that button, if you can see it, would activate this gate. And allow you to walk out, grab 17 more gold, and you would then go up these steps here to get out of Yingold's barrel. Now, really, I'll show you here on the... Yeah, there's not much here. Again, the chest is empty. And why am I just standing here? 
This is stupid. Sorry about that, folks. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit here. Don't know what I was thinking there, but you'll see the location of the back entrance is far off from the actual barrel. Here on the map, you can see where the barrel is and where my current location is. It is way off. Now I'm going to fast travel to Winterhold to deliver the helm. You lost. I don't care how many... Can you believe that this hold used to contend for the throne of the High King? Now, perhaps others will listen. Here, your reward is promised. You have Winterhold's thanks. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However... I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Good luck to you. And there you have it. A glitched up event that, well, you could have had a really nice helm. The one that Draugr Death Lord was wearing was the one you would have ended up with. And it was really cool. Now, if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like the types of videos I'm putting out, well, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and you will be fed videos to your home feed whenever I post them. And I post four videos a week. I thank all the people who have subscribed. Feel free to leave comments on my videos. I like reading comments, and I do respond to them. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.